We're going to get started. If you have a cell phone, would you please silence it? Good afternoon. My name is Doris Jepson. I am the Director of Nursing and Allied Health here at Classic Community College. And I want to welcome you to the pinning ceremony. Do I start over? <laughs> I can do that. Please silence your cell phones, because we're going to get started. I'm Doris Jepson. I'm the Director of Nursing and Allied Health here at Clatsop Community College, and I want to welcome you to the 2002 Graduating Nurses Painting Ceremony at the college. Da -da -da -da. On behalf of the college and the nursing program faculty and staff, thank you for being here today to honor these graduating students on their achievement. The painting ceremony is a time-honored tradition. The first painting ceremony that directly related to the graduating nurses occurred in the 1860s at the Florence Nightingale School of Nursing in St. Thomas Hospital in London, England. Florence Nightingale used this ceremony to provide a medal of excellence to her school's most outstanding graduates. Later, other nursing schools began to award pins to all their graduates to signify that they had completed their nursing education. Tradition also holds that the pinning ceremony marks the passage of the from the student role to the practice role. Today, all the professional nurses attending this ceremony are here to welcome this graduating class of nursing students to the profession. If you're a registered nurse, past or present, would you please stand? Thank you for being here today. As program director, I would like to say a few words to the graduating students. First of all, I want to compliment you on the resolve and courage that you have shown in pursuing nursing as a career in these challenging times. Nursing school has not been easy, but understand the journey has made you stronger. You have learned what it takes to face love ch tough challenges and to overcome them. And that is a skill that will stand you in good stead as you now go out into practice. We are very proud of the fine nurses that you have become. I want to brag a little bit about Clatsop. You have received a wonderful education here. The faculty who are sitting over here and those of you in the audience who have taught your prerequisite classes and your nursing classes have worked hard to provide you with a foundation upon which to build your future. My advice to all of you is to be willing to get your foot in the door, work hard, and get some experience. As you have opportunity, go on and get your bachelor's degree in nursing. You won't regret it, and it will open up many more avenues for your career and for service. The need for nurses is very strong, both locally and across our country. The analysts at the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics continue to project that there will be a need for new nurses to enter the workforce for many years to come. I also want to add that the Gallup organization polls the nation every year to ask which profession does the public feel has the most honest and ethical standards? Guess what? Nursing has been ranked as the number one profession for the past 20 years running. You are entering a proud profession. All in all, your future is very, very bright. At this time, I would like to introduce our class speaker, Stephanie Julianne Jaworski, member of the 2022 graduating nursing class.
y'all see me behind here? Yeah? Good. Okay. Hi, and welcome to our 2022 pinning ceremony. I feel very honored to be representing my class, excited to tell everybody what we've been doing these last couple years. This is actually the first time I've ever given a like public speech, so um, I googled how to give a speech, and it said I should open up with silence. I ran that scenario through my head, and all I saw was a bunch of booing and tomatoes coming from the crowd. So instead, I'm going to open up with a quote from Dr. Living Good. The quote reads, information will not change your life. What will change your life is knowledge, and knowledge is the application of information. As we pass our NCLEX exam and become nurses, we will be able to take that information we, we have and apply the knowledge to provide the best evidence-based care. I wanted to give a special thank you to our local healthcare workers who were not only working throughout COVID, but were also mentoring us during that time. That time of unknown was wild and scary, and that calls for some major recognition, and to say thank you is an understatement. So let us give a round of applause for those helping serve the health of our community. Let us also thank the, the facilities and preceptors for taking on a bunch of eager second year students. It is a big commitment to do, and I know we were so thankful for the opportunity to have direct patient contact. I'm not sure if some of you are aware, but there were other programs out there, and due to COVID, um, their students were unable to get in, to go in the hospital. They had to do virtual simulation. COVID made a lot of things complicated. Our local hospitals embraced us and let us in their facilities and allowed us to give real patient care. That is absolutely huge. You know, there is a difference when you are on a computer doing virtual simulation and you can read the text where the patient says, I'm having difficulty breathing, versus when you have a patient with shortness of breath come into your care and you can see the retractions. You notice the color of their skin looking pale or blue. You notice that they are in the tripoding position to help ease their breathing. You can see their fear and anxiety. You can't do that with a computer, but in a hospital, you can see that. You get that firsthand experience and you put that in your toolbox for future recognition in other patients. That is learning, that is knowledge, and that is power. So a huge thank you to our local facilities that let us in because you allowed us the opportunity to build our skills and practice. And as soon to be new grad nurses, our clinical experience will be heavily relied upon. Next, I wanna thank our instructors. These women are not just instructors. They are therapists, jokesters, motivators, and exceptional nurses. Their passion for teaching and their drive to support us is beyond words. I hope there are more instructors like yourselves out there because you set the bar high for other teachers and you set the bar high for your students. Pushing us to think outside the box and always encouraging us to continue learning and developing our nursing judgment. You have helped mold us into compassionate, caring, and knowledgeable nurses, and for that, we thank you. What you have taught us gives the ability to change the trajectory of our patients' lives. That is a huge responsibility, and you did it so well. These last two years have been a wild ride. I, among others, are so very proud of this cohort. Looking back at our achievements, where we started, and where we are now. I asked our cohort what was the best thing about nursing school, and the answer was Kahoot. If you think getting into nursing school was competitive, then you've obviously never played this game. It would be the equivalent to like a nursing school Hunger Games. They said the competition was over when we got into the program, and for the most part that was true. But when it came to Kahoot, the gloves came off. Came off. Kahoot is similar to a fast-paced online trivia that put our cohort into a state of sheer chaos. It was every person for themselves, with stiff competition and a lot of smack talking. This is, all, this is what we all looked forward to after hours of sitting in lecture. It was our time to shine and win, and if you were able to get on the podium, well, you may, may as well have been on top of the world. Let us not downplay the difficulty of this nursing program. This group of individuals worked hard and we worked as a team. Nursing school is not an individual sport, it is a team sport. Where we worked together, we sent group text messages at 5.30 in the morning to make sure everyone was up for clinicals, constantly reminded each other about upcoming due dates, we helped clarify questions and assignments, helped each other cram more information in just prior to an exam, 
and we're always trying to encourage each other and reassure each other about the reasons our grades had not been posted yet after an exam. It was an effort that we all took part in, and I think that speaks volumes for who, the, who this cohort is as individuals. We have spent late nights, late nights prepping for exams after a two to three day run of clinicals. We constantly were working on our documentation where, where we have charted that our patients had their wheels locked, bed in low position, call light within reach, personal items within reach, at least a thousand times, and we have pushed ourselves to make good nursing judgment. This program was intense, and nursing school is not for the faint of heart. Life does not care that you are a student. You still have bills to pay, mouths to feed, including, but not limited to, children, significant others, cats, dogs, fish, hamsters, squirrels. Still had household chores to complete, a job to hold, and the biggest chore of them all, trying not to get sick or break a bone while in nursing school in addition to trying not to assume that we've acquired every disease that we have learned about in school. Do you know how many of us had calf pain after learning about blood clots that could develop in our legs? I think at least half the class, or maybe just one of us. <laughs> keeping our mental game strong was very crucial to our success, and continuing to keep our mental game strong will contribute to our future success. To my cohort, go out there and do some good. Educate, inspire, and, and be compassionate. We live, we live in a world where people are sick and we are in a health crisis. Educate your patients. Give them tools to make good decisions for themselves. Support their autonomy. Provide empathy and compassion for them in their time of need. Not everyone is going to be receptive, but keep trying and keep motivating. We will forever be students of continued education and learn and adapt to the healthcare world. I'm really proud of all of you. We did it. You are, going to be, you are going to change the trajectory of someone's life for the better, and you may never remember them, but they will remember you and what you did for them. You are going to be the first domino that fell and created a cascade of positive change. Congrats, class of 2022. Thank you, Stephanie. That was awesome. I would like to now introduce Tina Cotson, one of our nursing faculty members. She's coming to recognize our preceptors. Hello, everybody. I'm going to have to move these a little bit. It's wonderful to see you all here. It's the first time we've been able to do this in such a large crowd, and it's just delightful. So welcome. During the final term of nursing school, students complete an integrative practicum experience as they begin their final transition to professional practice. For this unique clinical rotation, students are paired with registered nurses called clinical nurse preceptors in a wide variety of healthcare environments. Together, they work side by side for approximately 200 hours to care for patients and clients in our community as they gain valuable real-world experience. Nurse preceptors are chosen based on their clinical expertise, exceptional nursing practice, and proven ability as partners in learning. These generous volunteers share their wisdom, skills, and passion for excellent patient care and eagerly serve as role models for their students. From year to year, students consistently tell us that the practicum experience is the most rewarding time in their learning process. This year, we have been particularly fortunate to work with 26 volunteer nurse preceptors from Providence Seaside Hospital, Columbia Memorial Hospital, Lower Columbia Hospice, Clatsop Behavioral Health, and the Astoria Birth Center. Students had placements in med surge, critical care, surgical services, and the emergency department, as well as in maternal newborn, infusion oncology, outpatient clinics, and mental health care. Due to very busy work schedules, several of this year's nurse preceptors are unable to be with us today in person. Even so, many are viewing this pinning ceremony virtually. 
In a moment, I will read their names and ask those present to please come forward to receive a certificate of thanks. But before I begin, please join me in a round of applause for all 26 of these amazing nurses. Nurse Sarah Scott from the Emergency Department at Providence Seaside Hospital precepted our student Carissa Brunmeyer. Student Stacy Card was mentored by two preceptors, Carly Wilson and Matt Montesano in the Providence Seaside Emergency Department. From Lower Columbia Hospice, nurses Christy Hagland and Regina Whitaker collaborated with student Sarah Decker. She's here. Come on up, Christy. <laughs> Student Faith Dunn was precepted by nurse Riley Schweitzer on night shift in the critical care unit at Providence Seaside Hospital. In the critical care unit at Columbia Memorial Hospital, nurses Caitlin Byron and Shauna Bollinger co-precepted student Alex Edwards. <laughs> student Kristen Hollenbeck was mentored by med surge nurse Tara Hanno at Columbia Memorial Hospital. From the emergency department at Columbia Memorial Hospital, nurse Arminda Green precepted Stephanie Jaworski. Providence Seaside nurse preceptor Megan Kahn worked with student Adon Lopez in the critical care unit. In the critical care unit at Columbia Memorial Hospital, nurses Rachel Davidson and Jaden Crape precepted student Shauna Lilly. Student Marianne Manduano was mentored by nurse Tanya Lempia in maternal newborn department and by nurse Chelsea Harrison, who's here today in med surge at Providence Seaside Hospital. <laughs> nurse Victoria Sarin from same day surgery at Columbia Memorial Hospital precepted student Alyssa Moreau. From Class of Behavioral Health, Nurse Angel Johnston mentored student Abigail Moten. She's here today. Student Caitlin Olson was precepted by Nurse Molly May in the Columbia Memorial Operating Room. Providence Outpatient Clinic Nurse Preceptor Heather Kent worked with student Rebecca Orton in Seaside. Student Matt Otto was precepted on night shift by Nurse Taylor Lester in the Providence Seaside Emergency Department. <laughs> Nurse Cheyenne Marone from the Outpatient Infusion Clinic at Providence Seaside Hospital mentored student Brandon Uribe. Student Alexis Wallace was precepted by nurse midwives Heidi Phillips, Rebecca Barlow, and Stacy Walker from the Astoria Birth Center. And finally, nurses Miranda Dietrich and Maritza Casarubias from the Emergency Department at Columbia Memorial Hospital collaborated to mentor student James Williams. Thank you. I believe the program says that now at this time we're going to view a slideshow put together by James T. Williams of the member of the graduating class.
very fun. Next, we're going to have Devin Weaver, faculty advisor for the class of Community College Nursing Club, to recognize our nursing club leaders. Good afternoon. My name is Devin Weaver, and in addition to being a nursing instructor, I have had the pleasure of serving as the advisor for the class of Community College Nursing Club. The nursing club is open to all students enrolled in the nursing program at class of Community College. Today's painting ceremony was partially supported by various club fundraising activities. I would like to take a few moments to acknowledge our nursing club leaders. Our current co-presidents are Shauna Lilly and James Williams. Both are being pinned today and graduating tomorrow. Our activities director is Megan Tiller and our secretary treasurer is Leah Durham. Students, will you please come up front with me so that we can acknowledge your efforts. I would like to share a few highlights from this year. That's okay, you're fine. <laughs> the Nursing Club has um, taken an active role on the Classic Community College campus, and I know that I speak for all faculty when I say that we are exceptionally proud of their efforts. While club activities were met with barriers brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, the club was able to raise some funds this year via the club leader and student-sponsored t-shirt and sweatshirt sale. It was such a popular event that we took orders twice. In October, the students collaborated with the CCC Associated Student Government in spreading awareness about the Teal Pumpkin Project, which is a program that promotes safety, inclusion, and respect of individuals managing food allergies. In November, the students collaborated with the Class of Community College's Lives in Transition program to support a local family in need during the holiday by providing a Thanksgiving food basket. During the winter and spring academic terms, the club sponsored two blood drives. These events were coordinated with the American Red Cross and were held in Columbia Hall and were noted to be very successful. It has been a very full and busy year of club activities. Please join us in thanking all of our club leaders and nursing students for their hard work. Now I would like to specifically acknowledge our graduating nursing club co-presidents, Shada and James. Shada, okay, yeah, clap. A lot of clapping. Great. <laughs> Shauna and James dove headfirst into their club leadership positions in 2020 during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Throughout these unprecedented times, Shauna and James embraced their leadership roles by encouraging classmates to engage via Zoom meetings while supporting various COVID-19 limited club activities. Once club meetings returned to physical spaces, Shauna and James provided a safe environment in which students could support one another while venting their frustrations and their concerns. Shauna and James, thank you for your leadership, energy, and creativity. Thank you for selflessly devoting your time to support the nursing club and your classmates. Thank you also for your diligent efforts to prepare the slideshow for today's ceremony. In recognition of your service to others, I would like to present each of you with a small token of appreciation. Now we move on to the pinning portion of our ceremony. As each student's name is announced, we ask that they, they and the persons pinning them walk to the front of the tables below. We do have one student and her family joining us via Zoom today, and she will be pinned first. Do you see her? There she is. <laughs> yeah. Alexandrea is being pinned by her son, Avery. Alex 
next would like to thank her husband, Evan, for supporting her and reminding her of her strength through every up and down during the program. She would also like to thank everyone who helped watch Avery so that she could make her dreams a reality. Thank you to her parents for teaching her she could do anything she sets her mind to. Shout out to her study buddies who, over the course of two years, became lifelong friends. Lastly, she'd like to thank her son, Avery, for being the driving force to never give up and for being such a patient boy during study time. So the class of 2022, we did it. Carissa Star Brunmeyer is being pinned by her grandmas, Star, Boudreaux, and Karen Brunmeyer. Congrats and good luck to everyone in our graduating class. I want to say thank you to my family and friends for believing in me and supporting me throughout my journey of nursing school. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I also want to thank my friends in nursing school for helping me study and keeping me on top of all of the due dates. And a special thank you to my mom and stepdad who let me move back in a few times throughout these past few years. I appreciate and I love you all. Stacy Card is being pinned by her husband, Jake, and her three children, Levi, Kyson, and Keeley. I feel incredibly blessed to have so much support from my family and friends throughout the most challenging two years of my life. I would like to thank my husband, Jake, for always encouraging me and putting up with me when I was stressed out and grumpy. To my three children, Levi, Kyson, and Keeley, for being understanding of all the games, dinners, and other important events for which I was absent. Thank you to my good friend, Lori, who inspired me to go to nursing and supported me in every aspect along the way. To my parents, Vicki and Chris, for always encouraging and supporting me throughout my entire life. I would like to thank all my other family and friends for their understanding of my limited time. Lastly, I would like to thank my preceptor, Carly Wilson, for making my practicum such an amazing and fun experience. I could not have asked for a better mentor. <laughs> Student Sarah Decker is being pinned by her son, Wesley, and her mother, Pamela. Words cannot express the veneration that fills my being today. Years ago, this was only a dream that was someday. And as I humbly reflect on the arduousness that paved this way, I recognize that I did not travel this path alone. I want to express gratitude first to my family for your continued and multifaceted spousal, without this backbone, the goal may have never come to fruition. Thank you for loving your nerdy factoid girl endlessly. I thank you and love you. To my dearest friends, Arminda, Katrina, Katie, my heart bursts with knowing that Wesley has become one of your own. I sincerely thank you for the benevolence given to Wesley and myself in our most vulnerable states. We love you. Lastly, my most genuine appreciation to my fellow graduates for welcoming me into their cohort with no hesitation and for allowing me to join in your own unique journeys. Thank you to the instructors who have been more than supportive, compassionate, and encouraging throughout this entire process. To my preceptors, Christy and Regina, observing the fervor you have for your patients and your careers has only further confirmed that I am on the right path. Most enthusiastically, thank you. <laughs> Student Faith Dunn is being pinned by Anthony Ramirez and Timothy Dunn. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to thank my family and friends for all the love and support through nursing school. Most importantly, I want to thank my boyfriend, Anthony, and my dad. Anthony, thank you for everything that you've done to support me through my dreams. Thank you for always believing in me and your motiva motivational speeches. Thank you for putting your dreams aside to follow me while I achieve mine and taking care of everything else. That way school could be my only focus. I don't have any other words except for thank you. And here is the next step closer to our future. Dad, I did it. Thank you for all your motivational texts every test day and everything else that you've done to support me through this. You both have been such a big supporter of my journey. I love you both so much. Okay. Student Kirsten Hollenbeck is being pinned by her son, Aaron, and her daughter, Alyssa. I would like to thank my friends and family that are here today as they continue to show me the love and support they have bestowed upon me for as long as I have known them. I have asked my son Aaron and my daughter Alyssa to present me with my pen. I want to thank all of my friends and family that are here today for holding my hand during this phase of my life. Many of you know that my husband was killed in a car accident three weeks before our program began. <clears throat> I simply would not have made it without the love and support that all of you have shown me. Aaron and Alyssa, you have been there with me through every step of this program. I cannot thank you enough for all the ways you've supported and encouraged me. <laughs> you are both a blessing to me. Thank you for the many ways you've helped me for the past two years. Student Stephanie Jaworski is being pinned by her husband, Tom. These last few years have been a wild ride. I hope those who supported me know that I am beyond grateful. Saying thank you feels like an understatement. I am here because of not just hard work on my end, but because of the endless support from my better half, my family, and my friends. I also want to shout out to my colleagues. We started this circus as classmates and we're leaving as friends. I know for a fact that if I didn't have you all to turn to for support, that I wouldn't be standing here getting pinned today. We did it and I'm so proud. <laughs> Student Adan Lopez is being pinned by Mariah Manners. I want to start by thanking my best friends, Mariah and Max. I couldn't have done this without you two. Mariah, I don't think I can ever repay you for all the support you gave me this, these past two years. I could not have made it through this program without your help and encouragement. You are such a blessing to me. Max, thank you for taking me in after every school term. Looking forward to those visits gave me the motivation to push through some of the most challenging study slogs I have ever endured. To Rebecca and the Ortons, thank you for always making me feel like one of the clan. All of those dinner nights were such a welcome break from the schoolwork. Mary Ann, thank you for being the best study partner. Apologies to Lance for the endless Zoom sessions. I would also like to thank my preceptor, Megan, for pro providing me with such meaningful opportunities throughout my practicum. And finally, to my parents, thank you for sharing your home with me during the program. You both are so incredibly generous, and I appreciate your unwavering faith that I would succeed in school. I love you. <laughs> Student Shauna Lilly is being pinned by her mom, Kathy. <laughs> Nursing school has given me so much to be thankful for. It's hard to put into words how grateful I am for the people who helped me succeed. Me coming back to school wouldn't have been possible without my late grandfather, Malcolm, and I wish he could be here to see this moment. Thank you to my parents, my mom, Kathy, my stepdad, Craig, and my dad, Andy. You three have supported me and have always been there when I needed you. Thank you to my grandma, Jan, for always being proud of me and for helping me in every way possible. 
I am so grateful for my boyfriend, Ben, who has been nothing but encouraging and supportive since I unexpectedly decided I wanted to go to nursing school. Thanks for always cooking food for the study group just before we kicked you out of the house so we could study. We appreciate you. Finally, thank you to all of my friends here, the ones I started this journey with and the ones I've gained along the way. You are all so talented, and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Student Marianne Mandujano is being pinned by her parents, Oasis Mandujano and Rojalina Gomez. Marianne Mandujano está siendo galardonada por sus padres Moisés Mandujano y Rojalina Gomez. Quisiera darles las gracias a mis padres por su amor incondicional y por su apoyo. Ustedes, los dos, significan mucho para mí y yo no hubiera podido hacer esto sin ustedes. Mamá, gracias por siempre dejarme llorar enfrente de ti y por siempre hacer la mejor comida. Gracias a mis amigos y a mi familia quienes siempre me animaban y porque han dejado que me queje enfrente de ellos. Un saludo te mando a ti, Adán, por estudiar conmigo y gracias a mis compañeros quienes me ayudaban cuando lo necesitaba. For Marianne, I would like to thank my parents for their unconditional love and support. You both mean so much to me and I could not have done this without you. Mom, thanks for always letting me cry to you and making the best food. Thank you to my friends and family for always encouraging me and for letting me constantly complain. Shout out to Adon for studying with me and thank you to my classmates who all helped me whenever I needed it. <laughs> Student Alyssa Moraro is being pinned by her best friend, Natalie Swagger. To all my friends and family who helped me through this journey, thank you. Going through nursing school is one of the hardest things I've ever done, and I could not have done it without the support, encouragement, and prayers from all of you. A special thank you to Natalie, Amanda, Jody, and Katie for keeping me together over the last two years. Thank you for supporting me through all the tears, stresses, and messes. Your friendships mean so much to me. Dad, thank you for being there for all the crying phone calls for talking me off my ledge when I thought I wasn't good enough, and for reminding me every time I needed it, just that I am capable of. To my cohort, to members Kirsten and Stacy, thank you for your kindness, patience, and friendship. You girls made this experience so much better for me. Thank you to the nursing faculty for all you did to keep us in school, and for all the support and guidance. I will forever hear your voices in my head. <laughs> Student Abigail Moten is being pinned by her mom, Susan Moten. <laughs> Firstly, I would like to thank my biggest supporters throughout this whole process. My parents, Susan and James Moten, have kept their house open with a washer and dryer ready to do laundry and a kitchen ready to cook meals for over 20 years, but especially in the past two. I have come to learn that there is no grade so bad or skill so hard that it can't be fixed with a bowl of her homemade chicken and dumplings. I would also like to extend thanks to my partner, Elias Brown, for taking care of me in our home while I spent countless hours studying. Finally, I would like to thank my preceptor, Angel Johnston, and all of the staff for helping me get to where I am today. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Caitlin Oslin is being pinned by Michael Oslin. The last three years have been full of challenges, and I would not have succeeded in school without the support of my friends and family. My husband and children were so patient and forgiving during the long hours of studying, missed meals, messy house, and frequent irritable attitude. 
I also want to say thank you to all those who help with childcare, transportation, meals, home repairs. Thank you for loving me, loving my kids, and helping me get through each day. A special thank you to mom for all the times you came up to stay with my family during clinical rotations. For my parents' continual support, I want to thank my instructors, my preceptors, for sharing their time and talents, for helping me along the path. I am better for it. And finally, I would like to thank the College Foundation and all the institutions that offer scholarships and financial aid. I am incredibly grateful for the financial assistance I received. I was able to focus on my academics, my family. Thank you. Rebecca Orton is being pinned by Rebecca Barlow. <laughs> Sacrifice is giving up a temporary comfort for something which will be better for in the long run. My husband, Adam, my children, Violet, Harvey, and McAdam have been given so much temporary comfort so my family could accomplish one of our life goals together. My kids pioneered new ways of bonding, like doing my VSIM homework for me, <laughs> with me. They called it that nursing video game. Violet, my 10-year-old, passed Lloyd Webber on the first try. My parents, Bill, Jan, Robert, Marianne, have been supportive. My siblings and friends have rallied around our family, not with withstanding a lot of neglect. Each of my staff members have put up with two years of shenanigans with undying love and support while picking up an unbelievable amount of slack. To my teachers, fellow students, thank you for your one-on-one -on -one time, the long talks, walks, late nights, and tears. That's the stuff that matters in the long run. I probably would have dropped out if it weren't for a dawn and our many debriefing cheeseburgers and countless incidents of eating our feelings. I am grateful for the Oregon Health Plan, Shoreline Counseling, my therapist, J.C. Stewart. Everyone needs a therapist. Matt Otto is being pinned by his father and mother and girlfriend. <laughs> Just when I thought it would never end, it's finally over. Thanks to those who supported me throughout the course of the program, now it's time for me to live my best life. Much love. Brandon Uribe is being pinned by his parents. Wow, I'm finally here, wow. I owe my warmest thanks to my mom who nudged me into nursing, my dad whose support was my financial lifeline. Thank you to my loving sisters, my wonderful church family, Pastor Joshua and his family, the incredible nursing instructors and staff, and of course, I thank God. To quote the prophet Joseph, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will always be with you wherever you go. To the extended faculty at Class of CC and the Scholarship Foundation, to all my amazing friends, Cheyenne, and the wonderful staff at Providence and CMH, and the countless supporters I've had along the way. Without you all, I wouldn't be here today. I am forever grateful. Nursing school has been no walk in the park. It's riddled with success, tribulations, novel experiences, second chances, but that's all part of the experience. To my amazing cohort, I really lucked out with having you all as classmates turned friends. Now let's pass those pills and pay those bills. <laughs> Alexis Wallace is being pinned by Tristan, her boyfriend, and Olivia, her daughter. I want to start by thanking my family and friends that have supported me and pushed me in to follow my dreams of wanting to become a nurse. I want to say thank you to my boyfriend, Tristan, for supporting me through the nursing program and putting up with long study days and nights while we also raise our daughter, Olivia. 
as well as my parents, step-parents, mother-in-law, Misty, for providing the best childcare I could have asked for for my daughter. I also want to give a shout out to my study buddies, Shauna and Carissa. I'm going to miss our days of online shopping, taking naps, eating all the snacks, with a bit of studying of the content we needed to know. Although nursing school was one of the hardest, most challenging things I've ever done, it is also one of the best, most rewarding times in my life. I am so thankful for the experience here at Class of Community College. Congratulations, Class 2022. James Williams is being pinned by Dale and Becky Sue Williams. Thank you first to my mom and dad who have supported me throughout this endeavor every step of the way. Whether I needed some encouragement during demanding periods or I needed help paying bills, I've always been able to count on you. I would not be here today without the two of you and cannot thank you enough for everything. To my friends, Morgan and Dan, thank you for always being willing to pay for my beers and for driving all the way out to the coast when you knew I needed to be around friends. You both have been a constant escape from nursing school. I will never forget all of your support. And lastly, thank you to every classmate for being a great source of support and friendship throughout the program. And of course, I have to thank you all for soaking up the CAPT points <laughs> so that I could be here today without any. You are all the best. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, next, we're going to have the clinical nursing awards. They are being presented by our nursing faculty, Carson Nostrum and Carolyn Adler. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carson Nostrum, and this is Carolyn Adler. Today, we have the pleasure of recognizing students for their excellent performance throughout this nursing program. The recipients of these awards were selected by the nursing faculty. We, we will begin by presenting the Academic Achievement Award, the Professional Excellence Award, the Clinical Excellence Award, and then Doris Jepson, Director of Nursing and Allied Health, will present the Director's Award for Student Achievement. The first award we would like to announce is the Academic Achievement Award. This cohort has several students who achieved a 4.0 grade point average in all their nursing courses. To determine the recipient of this award, we evaluated the final percentage for each of the nursing courses. The student who achieved the highest course grades throughout their nursing program is Caitlin Olson. The next award we will be presenting is the Award for Professional Excellence. The National League for Nursing, or the NLN, is the premier organization for nursing faculty and nurse leaders in education. The NLN's core values include caring, integrity, diversity, and excellence. Caring is defined as treating the whole person, reaching out to those who are vulnerable, and demonstrating the ability to understand the needs of others. Integrity is described as clear communication, ethical decision making, humanity, telling the truth, and doing the right thing. Diversity includes the ability to accept, embrace, and celebrate the richness of each individual. Excellence reflects a commitment to continued growth, self-improvement, and understanding. We felt the NLN's core values describe professional excellence and the recipient of this award. Before we announce the student's name, we will share a quote from Maya Angelou that describes the character of this student. You never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. This year's Professional Excellence Award goes to Faith Dunn.
The next. <laughs> The next award we will present is the Award for Clinical Excellence. This student was not only vested in their own success, but the success of the colleagues around them. It was through quiet and steady perseverance that this student excelled in this program. The recipient of this award embodies the NLN's hallmarks of excellence for a nursing student. Those hallmarks are a student who is excited about learning, a student who exhibits a spirit of inquiry and a sense of wonderment, a student who's committed to lifelong learning, a student who is committed to innovation, continuous quality performance improvement, and excellence, a student who's committed to a career in nursing. This year's Clinical Excellence Award goes to Stacy Card. Doris Jepson will now present the Director's Award for Student Achievement. It's my distinct privilege to present this award today. It is given to honor the nursing student graduating from the class of Community College Nursing Program who we believe has exhibited the most diligence, dedication, and devotion in the pursuit of their nursing education. All of you, all of you, have overcome many challenges in, in this educational journey. And I just want you to know it was a challenging award for us to, to decide. I first became acquainted with our recipient the summer of 2020. Despite personal tragedy, she resolved to attend nursing school and has done well in her studies. On occasion, she has stopped by my office to discuss an idea and to offer to assist others. She attended our new nursing student orientation last year and gave advice to the new class, including helping them establish an online place for communication among themselves. In many instances, she has given of her time and talents to support encourage and challenge others on their nursing school journey. Our recipient this year for the Director's Award for Student Achievement is Kirsten Hollenbach. Next, Shauna Lilly and James Williams, members of the 2022 graduating nursing class, are coming for the student recognition of faculty and staff. the class of community nursing program we are incredibly blessed with the best nursing instructors anybody could ask for they are kind compassionate and hardworking. we cannot begin thanking them enough for all the hard work they have put in to get us to this moment but we're going to try our best to start us off my co-president james carson i get to pick on you first thank you for being equal parts amazing and terrifying during clinicals <laughs> And I mean that in the best way possible. Your hands-on approach and commitment to the highest standards of care has helped to shape us into the best versions of future nurses that we can be. And I feel that you have more than prepared us for whatever challenges come next. Thank you, too, for sharing some of your personal stories with us in order to help us more fully understand that which you were teaching. Thank you also for guiding us through the complex pathophysiology of about a million and one disease processes, and mostly for always maintaining a sense of humor while doing it. You are an incredible instructor, and I can't tell you how fortunate every one of us feels to have had you guiding us every step of the way. Tina, 
Your seemingly endless enthusiasm to teach is just one of the things that makes you irreplaceable. You are a perfect example of how to be a kind and caring nurse while maintaining the level of respect and safety needed to provide the best care possible. You have shared your knowledge and experience with us, and we are so lucky to have spent these last two years with you. You have been our biggest supporter, our biggest cheerleader, and I know that every single one of us sitting here today appreciates that beyond words. If we can even be a fraction of the nurse that you are, we will be thankful. Devin, thank you for always being a source of levity and fun when we needed it most. It has been a challenging couple of years, but you've always been there to guide and support us and to remind all of us to find the time to take a deep breath and then do the chicken dance. <laughs> thank you too for teaching us so much about death and dying and for enabling us to approach this difficult topic with a renewed sense of care and compassion. You have consistently shown yourself to be an extremely thoughtful and caring instructor and someone to whom we could easily talk to whenever we needed to. And we cannot thank you enough for everything. Carolyn, you taught us not only the importance of looking at every patient and every situation as a whole so we can give the absolute best care possible, but also to take a step back and make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Your dedication to helping us grow into well-rounded nursing is just one of the qualities that makes you such a great teacher. The compassion you show every day in the classroom and in clinicals sets the high bar for us to strive for in our future practice. Thank you for your humor and your honesty helping us grow into the future nurses that we are today. Jen, thank you for all your hard work and for being such an amazing clinical instructor. You have always maintained a positive attitude and have been someone with whom we could share our problems. You have always led by example and taught us the importance of seeing our patients as the wholly unique individuals that they are. You taught us to take that extra five minutes to brush a patient's hair or to simply lend them an ear because sometimes it is the small things that mean the most to our patients. The level of compassion that you exemplify and have taught us all is something that I know each of us students will carry with us throughout our nursing practice. We will all soon be licensed nurses and better at what it is that we do for having had such a wonderful instructor. Thank you so much for everything. Doris, not many programs are fortunate enough to have a director so passionate and welcoming, but we are. Your open door policy demonstrates how much you truly care about each one of us and how much you want us to succeed, not only in this program, but also once we graduate from it. Thank you for your encouragement, your kindness, and your fantastic and uplifting pet talks. Kathy, thank you so much for all of the hard work that you do. Regardless of what the students were doing in class, lab, or clinicals, on any given week, we were all aware that you were working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that, uh, that everything was prepared for us. And while we did not spend much time with you personally, I can tell you that we are all extremely grateful for every bit of that hard work. So thank you for everything. <laughs> to all of you, saying thank you alone does not illustrate the level of gratitude we students have for each and every one of you. So we'll just have to say it a lot. Thank you for all the hard work and late hours that you continue to put in for uploading resources for us at 1 a.m. in the morning, and for always being generous with your time, even when we've invariably ambushed you in your office. I truly feel that we students have been extremely lucky to have had such a great team of instructors and faculty members supporting us in our learning throughout this program. You ladies are extraordinary, so once more from all of us, thank you, thank you, thank you. Will all of the graduating nursing students please stand?
including this year's 18 graduating nursing students, 627 individuals have now graduated from the Classic Community College Nursing Program. What a testimony to the vision, dedication, and hard work of so many individuals and organizations in Clatsop County and our region. Graduates, as you enter the profession of nursing, know that you have the necessary health care skills to help fill the vital need our nation has for nurses. May your pen always serve as a reminder of your desire, dedication, and the commitment that you have made to serve the health care needs of others. Audience, would you please also stand? On behalf of the college, the faculty and staff, the nursing program faculty and staff, myself, and each person in attendance, either online or here in the facility today, on behalf of all of us, congratulations. In closing, we would be remiss if we did not thank those who have helped set this all up for us here. The AV, the tables, the pictures, all, just everything. Thank you for all the work you have done behind the scenes to make this such a lovely event. And a special thank you to one of our graduates, Alyssa Moreau, for the flower arrangements at each table. Aren't they gorgeous? We invite family members of the grads to take the flower arrangement at your table with you. And uh, this is the conclusion of the 2022 Class of Community College Nursing Pinning Ceremony. Thank you for coming. Have a good rest of your day.